for those of you that don't know me, uh, I'm going to tell you straight up, I'm aware of my weaknesses. One of which is patience. I ain't got none. But you want to talk about a motherfucker that gets some shit done? Holy gosh, you're looking at him. I'm talking A-line only. No plan B ever. Task. Goal. Done. Next, please. And then don't you worry, when I get enough done, I know how to celebrate like a mofo too. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about humans being smarter than this goddamn virus that's spreading around all over here and scaring the world. It scared Christmas away this year for a lot of people. A virus is outsmarting us, but you know what's crazy? It ain't the virus. It's ourselves. We're outsmarting ourselves with our science and our vaccinations and our whatever else you want to call it. Whether it's man-made, bird-made, monkey-made, or bat-made. It's kind of like a chicken that laid the egg. I don't give a shit which one came first. Chicken's good and eggs are good. Let's call it that. We got a virus here. We've had Spanish influenza and the bubonic plague in the past. And they damn near outsmarted the human race. But you know what we did here this time? We got all fucked up and we started letting fear settle in. Fear, baby. Because that's where, that's where the devil walks in. That's where sin and it all comes in, baby. That's where you truly get yourself all rattled up. We got anxiety spreading throughout the society like it's going out of stock because nobody knows what's going to happen next. And here's what I can tell you. We're here to save the world. This, this time right here, right now, is exactly what's going to do it. Look at this cute little puppy. Hey, pup. Yeah. He knows what's up. Good morning. Or afternoon. But this is what I'm talking about. It's right now. And I've been on this quest for utopia and global peace since 1995 when I first heard the word utopia I thought the prof said word fru fruitopia and I'm like dude I'm a Snapple guy man what are you talking about and then he told me what utopia is I've added a few more things to it I've added the words joy and abundance and sustainably into it but what a hell of a good idea and I'm like why aren't we working towards that doesn't that sound like a logical goddamn thing to do sure as hell does and if the the, the conscious mind and the intelligent mind isn't getting it done, which apparently it's not because it's like propagating fear like it's going out of stuff. That's a cool toque. Oh, yours is not bad to you there, sir. It, you know, it's a little plain, but not as, you're right, not as cool as hers. And, uh, you know, why don't we let art try and have a run at it? Why don't we let art and the passionate side of creativity take a run at saving the world? And why don't we start right here? In Kelowna, you know, where, where, where the old Bitcoin has been a little gold standard for a long time. You know, cocaine is a, is a cryptocurrency from around the world that's kind of held its value for times gone by. And, you know, I hate to say the old Chinese feeding us fentanyl for free ain't helping the situation here in Kelowna. And I don't want to say uh, payback's a bitch, but uh, I think we did get them hooked on opium back in the day. Well, now, what do you think of the synthetic version? Because it's kind of like... Cocaine and meth, you know, uh, heroin and fentanyl. You know what it, what it, it's kind of like vaping and a good old-fashioned cigar. Hello. Or I'm not sure if you've ever seen a pocket pussy, but uh, let me tell you, I got a feeling the real thing is a million times better. <laughs> anyway. I want you to imagine something. I want you to imagine the spirit of the Okanagan, you know, a place where the, the native people, the way they say see you later here is, hi, hi. Think about that, hi and hi. I like that, baby. That's like, hi the next time, and then hi on your way back, because I'm going to see you again. It's like my little guy always says when he was leaving play school, God bless his heart, I hope we get to see him again. He'd always say, see ya, love ya, miss you already. That's what he'd say when he'd say goodbye, and he'd say it to all his friends. And the teachers. Kid's got kindness oozing out of his soul, man. He's gonna be a Chinese Kung Fu special style yoga master trainer when he gets older. And I know it because I've seen him reading the scrolls, I've seen him practicing. He's dialed in. But uh, I want you to imagine for a second the boardroom and the executive. One leaving the El, Mar the El Dorado Hotel. And maybe one leaving the marina downtown. As they head out to sea, they get to the bridge. 
and they're blazing fireworks like it's going out of style. Maybe the, for fire regulations, we got to put it on a floating thing of pallets or something like that. Maybe we can't have it close to the fuel source. I don't know, but whatever. Get it fucking done. And New Year's Eve comes in, and I'm talking, we light up Lake Okanagan like it's never been lit up before, but we do it almost as if it's like a war, like a movie. And we'll broadcast it live, we'll meet drones, and we'll read some of the greatest books in the background. And I'm talking about, you know, I'd like to read a few. Maybe I'll even write my own. But I'm talking about like a battle. I'm talking a massive battle, kind of like the East and the West, almost as if what's going on in the world right now, you know? Is, is the collective way to go better, or is the individualistic way to go better? But let me tell you, I, my boy is, my oldest boy was born in a place that doesn't exist. That's right. A figment of my imagination and most governments. This place is closest to ground zero of COVID and had the lowest impact on the economy and mortality and infection rates. And they did it without existing and they did it without the world's help. Because they realized when they got kicked out of the World Health Organization the United Nations that they're going to have to take care of themselves. And that's what I'm asking you all to do right now is take care of yourself first. Do whatever you got to do to get through the day and just make sure you gotta, you're got you grateful to see another one. Because I know times are tough. I know mental health is killing you. I know addiction's out there running wild. I know there's financial uncertainty. There's travel uncertainty. You know, I don't know if I'm ever going to see my kids again. But I do know that with faith and when you drop fear, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Because when the Holy Spirit's got you back, oh baby, you can, you can go watch the sunset and the sunrise, those times of, of, of grayness. And grayness is uncertainty, right? It's either all black or white. Look at a yin-yang, baby. Perfectly opposite and perfectly stuck together. And you throw one of those out of balance and you get a little bit of gray. Now, the only person that went into the gray zone, which could be like hell, because that's where gray, doubt, and uncertainty all is, was Jesus. He was the only one that could get there and come back without being touched. And he'd go down there and he'd try and rescue some souls, save them from being burned. Burned by the dragon that's asking nicely. Please don't make us char the earth, because you guys are not taking care of it, said the dragon to the people as COVID rolled by. But when they asked, try, asked twice, I have a feeling the dragon asks with fire. And I'd love to see this movie of these two boats heading across the Okanagan. Fireworks, almost as if they were shooting cannons. Pirates and saints going at it. And then they do a circle. They come back into town and they get to the marina again. And they get to the big O. Town office. Under the big bear. Where they realize the belief in Mother Earth and the Father above and the Holy Spirit can coexist. And to be quite honest with you, it's probably the best way to exist. And then a beaming light shines down as if it was a UFO, as if somebody was always watching. Maybe the world star, for example, the creator. And it tells us, with harmony, everything's going to be okay. And just like Ray Dalio said, this COVID is not a test of our, you know, international response or our monetary policies, fiscal policies, or our, our defense systems. It's a test of one thing and one thing only, and that is whether or not humans can be kind. And I, for one, believe we can. I believe cryptocurrency is here to create global equality and distribute the wealth away from the 3% that control 97% of it. I believe utopia is just around the corner. And 2022, when the humans outsmarted the virus and said, you know what, we weren't gonna have Christmas on December 25th this year anyway. We were gonna start it on January 1st and we're gonna have it all damn year long. It's kind of the vision I'm talking about. But I need a team, they say. Or else I'll just do it myself. But let's blow something up this uh, December 31st as we bring in 2022 and say goodbye to the pains and the worries of 2021. I'm seriously, let's blow something up. Kind of like writing your fears or your negativities down on a, on a piece of paper and throwing it in a campfire. Let's blow the shit out of the fear and all the anxiety that this world has given us with this little virus called COVID. You know, all we got to do is realize that virus is just another thing. It's a living organism. It's a parasite. Like so many people around the world right now that are just living off of others, doing nothing, adding no value. Well, fucking parasite, here's what I have to say to you. You're going to land on me, that's fine. But I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to have to put up a fight, and there's a hell of a lot easier place for you to go land on and get somebody else sick than me. And that parasite's gonna, that virus is going to go. But I'm also going to give that virus an opportunity. You know, I realize you're just a group of cells. You're vibrating at a different frequency than what I am, and I'd like to make you vibrate just a little bit better. So if you don't mind, would you just slightly change the way you vibrate and align more with the bacteria and the viruses that are already naturally on me. Those that are beneficial to the world. Because I would prefer that. 
as opposed to you jumping off and going and getting somebody else sick. Because I want you to feel better by making me feel better, by making everybody else feel better. I believe you can do it with cancer. An acupuncturist who saved, acupuncturist who saved my life did it. But, then again, I'm kind of a weirdo. I believe utopia is real, world peace is just around the corner, and my kids are born in a place that doesn't exist. My God, it kind of sounds like Alice in Wonderland or The Enchanted or something like that. Into the world. And the girl with the dragon tattoo. P.S. I love you. See you in Shanghai.